What's up guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. It looks like a bomb went off in the back of the car. It's because it pretty much did. Uh, yesterday, we drove five hours to Quebec, played hockey in a cave, uh, shot a bunch of video. You can see the vlog, I just posted it yesterday, and then drove five hours back. So it was my brother and a friend. So uh, a little bit sloppy back there. And by the way, my wife and I are expecting, we have a baby girl on the way in about 10 days. Uh, so I'm getting definitely a free pass going to Ottawa one day, Toronto today. But what am I doing in Toronto? I'm gonna see Goon, Last the Enforcer. I got invited to the world premiere, so it hasn't even been shown in theaters. I'm about to pick up the hockey beard. If you don't follow him, you guys have to. The guy's an absolute beauty. We're just gonna take the GoPro along with us and see what happens. So uh, it's probably about another half hour till I pick him up, but you guys are gonna see him in a few seconds. Here he is, the hockey beard himself. How's it going? <laughs> Where are we going, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> Act natural. <laughs> yeah. Basically, it's just a, a long, awkward, pause for the next 15 minutes till we get there. Right. Oh, by the way, uh, if you want to be on the vlog, you have to wear an official Pacific Ring Gear Supply hat. They got a, uh, a really tight contract. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, oh, put okay. it on. Looks good. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. What's this, beauty status hockey? <laughs> Give me some back on it. <laughs> yeah, oh, by the way, um, I'm gonna need you to turn this into a microphone somehow. That's, that's gonna be our microphone oh, stick. Excuse me. Excuse me. Toronto driving, eh? Have you uh, seen the car park pool karaoke? Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. See you with me, girl. But a bang, bang. Bounce with it, girl. Dance with it, girl. Get with it, girl. But a bang, bang. Come on, come on. Turn the radio on. It's Friday night. And it won't be long. Gotta do my hair. Get your makeup on. You, baby. All right, so I don't think uh, <laughs> you know. You, you kind of have to know all the words. Uh, yeah, I don't know what she's saying in the chorus. We we only need three seconds. Uh, to make. <laughs> <laughs> John, you do a, a trashy tape job. <laughs> you didn't cover the toe. Like thir 30, 30 people were like, yeah, <laughs> that is trash, Jerry. Uh, oh, yeah. how many tape jobs can you get out of a single roll of tape? Uh, Thirty. Thirty. <laughs> You're way off. 13.5. Really? The Nexus One End microphone comes complete with a trash tape job from the hockey beard. <laughs> Alright, talk on the microphone. That's when you're supposed to talk. Uh. <laughs> hockey beard, how much do you love my channel? I love it so much it makes me want to cry in the shower. Arrived at Scotia Bay Theater. Excuse me, VIP, excuse me. VIP, you got VIP. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just open. <laughs> uh, so, do you mind uh, being the cameraman? No, I don't mind. Perfect. So, I'll we'll just have to uh, put this on. Are you serious? <laughs> what? Really? You don't, don't want to wear the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to wear a GoPro on top of a uh, hockey helmet? <laughs> it's barely noticeable. Actually, I'll, I'll put it on if you want. I want to see if Sean William Scott will. Uh, like rip your bucket off and then jersey you and fill you with a couple. <laughs> Pretty much why I invited you. Didn't tell All you. Right, I'll take okay. a bunch Perfect. of stuff. Yeah. You good for it? That's good. Boom. That's why you got the invite. Welcome to the most amateur press team <laughs> ever invited to the red carpet. <laughs> Show me how to uh, improve my hockey skills in everyday life. That's the broad jump. Two foot jump, how many could you do? Alright, oh, <laughs> how's the railing? We could have done six if we had a warm up. We saw Alicia Cuthbert, but I didn't see Dion Phaneuf. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it turns out he's got a game tonight in Boston, so uh, instead of coming out to a movie date with his wife, he went and played hockey. James, nice to meet you, pleasure. Jeremy from the Hockey Movement or How To Hockey. Oh, nice to meet you guys. I've got to put you on the spot. Have you seen any of my YouTube videos? I have not yet. Oh. Give me your cell phone well, number. I will up. right away. Like, I, I'll look it up right now if you oh. want online. So, so you're in the movie. I'm a huge, basically the biggest star in the movie. The movie's basically based around, the plot lines around me mm -hmm. and my career as a broadcaster. <laughs> wow. Well, what a what an honor that Jay would write a movie just about you. Or did you write the movie as well? And just yeah, I wrote I wrote the movie. Jay, I I go 
ghost wrote the movie for Jay. No, I mean, I guess I'm in the movie, just sort of in the. I'm a lot of time I'm on the TV in the background. Yeah. I play a character called James Duthie, who's yeah. a sportscaster. Yeah, I, I, so I it, it's a big reach for me, uh, acting wise. <laughs> Did, did you get any acting lessons, though, being in a, a big feature film, even though you are actually who you are in the movie? I get my acting lessons every year on trade deadline where I have to fill 14 hours and pretend, <laughs> and pretend that I'm interested. <laughs> so, no, I got to sit next to TJ and uh, he was ad-libbing his ass off and I was, just trying to, I was just trying to keep up. So it was fun. But luckily, I'm the straight man. Because so, if I had to do the comedy, I don't think it would go so well. <laughs> All I right. mean, you've seen my shtick on TSN. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mark Andre. So, first thing I notice, the flow is gone. The flow's been gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all a movie. <laughs> it would have been impossible to have La Flamme without the flow. That is the answer that we needed to hear because. I need to look like Chris Latang a little bit. Ah, that's what he's going for. After you cut your hair, did you notice your hockey skill greatly decreased? Uh, no, actually. Well,. It's pretty much the same. The thing is, mm -hmm. people are more scared of me, though. I'm way better on uh, in the movie, mm -hmm. but I realized that you know I didn't have to be that good to be relevant on the ice. So I, I just go in front of the net <laughs> and I, I just try to annoy the fucking goalie, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, maybe a goal will you know a puck will get in, and yeah. I'll feel good about myself. If you want groceries, go to the grocery store. If you want gas, you go to the gas station. And if you want goals, you go to the net. Oh, so totally, totally. We have one last question before we go. Do you have any Percocets? No, never. Got to ask Belchi for that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you very much. Awesome. Nice to meet you. I love the microphone. Uh, yeah, it's the Bauer, the Bauer 1S uh, mic. It's the newest one. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I played, I played my pro hockey in Germany and Holland, and then I played at Alabama Huntsville for college, and then I played here in Toronto for two years in Brampton. Oh, nice. And then, and then three year, uh, two years in the BCHL uh, before that. So I played in Canada for a long time. So you're a pretty good hockey player. I'm a, I was goalie. Oh, you're goalie. Yeah. In the movie, you play a goon. Yeah, in the movie, I play a goon. I like, uh, he's like the modern day goon or whatever. He's like a modern day guy who can fight and kind of has to do it all. So ah. he's, he's like that. So could you give me a, uh, a Hollywood style uh, fight with, with the hockey beard here? How, how quickly do you think you could uh, rip his bucket and jersey him? Here? Yeah. Or under here? Uh, he's got the tips. Grab the jersey. Here. Bucket. <laughs> Oh, he and goes for the, the dirty play. Yeah. Oh. I'm in a ridiculous movie about <laughs> hockey fighting. That's a good point. And, and what about the jersey? Are you pulling the jersey over the head? I don't think I pulled jersey over any heads in this movie. Thank you very much for the fighting tutorial, and I'm looking forward to the helmet smash to the face in the movie. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. That you, you have to practice. You, what are you working on so you can prepare for the movie? Adrian Lamonaco was yeah. one of our, our coaches. Oh, Adrian, yeah, yeah. They had us uh, on the ice uh, five days a week for three weeks. Um, and it actually, were, he was amazing. He's one yeah. of the best coaches I've ever worked with. We had stunt doubles and stuff like that, which helped. I never got my invite to do the uh, stick handling and shooting part, so I, I guess I have to send in my resume. <laughs> yes, that's it. Yeah. I... At lunch breaks, we could have the ice to nice. ourselves. So you you grab something to eat after you had a game of shinny with the ringer hockey players. You know, like we we had guys from uh, junior hockey and ex pros. OHL. Filling out the team, oh, OHL. Nice. Rose, yeah. So we'd be on the ice with those guys, and that was on another level. The skill level, I don't know, you guys must know it, but uh, I'm yeah. pretty familiar. I'm not familiar with it. I heard uh, from, from uh, the, uh, the other guys that there was a really good coach out there. What, what were you working on? I was working on the clapper. Oh, I was nice. working on the clapper because when I read the script, the first thing that got me really excited was was where my character scores a big clapper, an important clapper. And I was like, okay, I don't care if I can't skate backwards at this point. I don't care about a lot of things. All I care is that when I take that clapper, that it's a real one. You know, yeah, I want yeah. it to go top cheese. I want it to be me. It's got to be me. One, one, one chance. Yeah, and I actually tore my shoulder and my bicep. Yikes. And the coach had to tell me every practice, okay, enough, you, you know. I actually get that. Uh, people send me emails, oh, I, my arm hurts right here. It's like, oh, freezes yeah, up, that's right? That's it, right here, right exactly. From, yeah. 
I think the take they used it looks really good, but I wasn't 100% happy with the pass I got. Either way, the shot's legit. It went nice, top nice, cheese. So nice. Hey, they go in how they go <laughs> in. <laughs> you gotta celebrate that. Right, man. How much hockey did you play before you the, before the shoot? Um, I I uh, I played house league as a kid for a few years. Uh, in, in truth, it was it was too expensive for my family, yeah. so I had to cut out and start playing soccer. Uh, but my cousin, who's a fantastic hockey player, he he always kept me in the loop, and I always played men leagues, men's league, and stuff like that. When I did the first goon, as far as actors go, I thought like, yeah. I know, because I, I started out as a stunt performer, so you oh, know, nice. I would see how actors fight versus real fighters. So yeah. I thought, as far as actors fighting goes, I'm a way better skater than most actors who do fighting stuff, so I should be fine. <laughs> and then I showed up, and these guys start whizzing by you on the ice, yeah. and it's, it changes. It's like you're on the highway in a Fiat surrounded by big rigs. <laughs> it's crazy. So when it comes to fighting, you got any uh, tips to pass on to? Hockey fighting or hockey just fighting, fighting in general? We'll go with hockey fighting. Don't fight. Ah, <laughs> good tip. <laughs> Don't fight. Take the high ground. Score your goal. Be classy. Do what yeah. you got to do. But always take the high ground. Lead by example and uh, be a gentleman first and foremost. Nice, John. Nice to meet oh, you. We got the helmet cam. We got the GoPro cam. This, this is uh, John, the hockey beard. Nice beard, dude. <laughs> so we got three questions. Number one: How quickly could you rip off my bucket and jersey me? I'm not quick at all, dude. I'm a puss. But I mean, if, if, like, if I was Doug Glatt, I don't know. Though. He's kind of like still not that skilled. He just grabs onto the jersey and just starts wailing away. There's a lot of it's just not very graceful. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so we're not gonna get a live demo, dude. I don't want to get my ass kicked. <laughs> if I just did though, like, what, not now. But I if you said it and I just did it really quick, like, what the fuck? It was a question. <laughs> I know. I would actually be really impressed. <laughs> hey, we we need the YouTube views. So. Damn. Well, sorry. I just let you down. <laughs> question number two. Do you have any Percocets? No. I shouldn't take yours though, right? <laughs> exactly. You got it. The last one, you want to get a selfie, yeah, yeah. selfie mode here? Sean, what are Saturdays for? It's for the boys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So now we get to watch the movie for anyone else in the world. I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, stay tuned to the rest of this YouTube video where we record the entire movie front to back and bootleg it on YouTube. All right. <laughs> See you guys. If people watch this movie, what are they going to see? Just blood. There's gore. Good fight scenes. Bad language. Canadian jokes. There's some good Canadian humor there. Gore. Moderate racism. More blood. Inappropriate gestures. Uh, definitely, if you like the first one, you're going to like the second one. Definitely more blood. I'm Gore. Yeah. The fight scenes were beyond like extreme and, and they brought sort of that uh, I guess cliche you know you know like the very end scene? Yeah, movie, fight. movie fights. Yeah, yeah. like the, where the bad guy and the and the good guy and yeah, it's like yeah. just an epic finish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like that whole <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to hockey. Oh thing. yeah, it was brilliant. Any actors surprise you in it? Uh the new guy, the bad guy, he was great. Yeah, the new guy, Wyatt Russell, is the actor's name. Amazing job, and that was surprising because when we interviewed him, he said he's a hockey player and he played professionally. And usually, you know, you, you've seen pro players in interviews. Yeah, um, you know, well, uh, you know, well, we just, um, we just, uh, we, <laughs> you, know, you got pucks on that. Um, yeah, pucks deep. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, well. Uh, <laughs> So, so really surprised by his acting skills. I think he, he just killed it. Also, I have to give a good shout out to James Duthie. Yeah, love the Sports Center cuts. I think that really helped uh, break the movie up. Yeah, he was good. It was realistic, and uh, T.J. Miller was funny as well. You know, the two of them were great pair on the sports desk. Yeah, the, the sports desk cuts were uh, great. They really they were the glue that held the movie together for sure. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to the Hockey Beard for starring in the vlog and seeing the movie. <laughs> no problem. Uh, March 17th, this movie drops. Thanks for watching the vlog. Hit the subscribe button to make new hockey videos every single week. See you in the next video.